Today we are going to work on multiplication. Multiply numbers up to 5 digit by 10, 100 and 1000. Multiplication. Race has some plants which are planted in different rows. Suppose he has planted all of his plants in 9 rows and there are 8 plants in each row. Then how many plants are there with him? Here we are going to use multiplication. There are 9 rows and 8 plants in each row. 8 multiplied by 9 is equals to, now start counting 8 times table till 9. Yes, 8 nines are 72. The two numbers which we multiply together are called factors and the answer is called the product. Now multiplication by 10. To multiply a number by 10 you just have to add one zero to the right of the given number. Suppose if we multiply 54,398 by 10 you just have to add one zero in the end or first zero from the right side. 54,398 multiplied by 10, its answer is 5,43,980. You just have to add zero after eight. Similarly, if you multiply the same number by 100, you have to add two zeros in the end. And same goes for 1000. If you are multiplying a number with 1000, that means you have to add three zeros at the end. Now look at the examples. To multiply a number by 100, just add two zeros to the right of the given number. Multiply 9315 by 100, it comes 9,31,500. Next, if we multiply 148 by 1000, 148 multiplied by 1000 is equals to 1,48,000s. You have to just add three zeros. This is a shortcut. Exercise 1F. Find the following products. 12,635 multiplied by 10. What are you going to do? How many zeros are you going to put in the right side? How many zeros in the end? Yes. 1 0 because there is 1 0 in 10. This is how you are going to attempt the other questions. Multiplication of a number by a two digit number. Let's move on. If you have to multiply a number by a two digit number, there are 24 factory employees. All of them have rupees 21,206 individually. That means every factory employee has 21,206 rupees. How much money is there with them all together? Okay, how many factory owners? 24 factory owners. What's the amount of money do they have? 21,206. Write the number as shown. 21,206, 21206, multiplied by 24. Now look at the step 2. 21206, multiplied by 24. Now if we expand 24, it is 20 plus 4. Am I right? Exactly. Step 3. Since 2 is at 10's place, we have to multiply 21,206 by 20. So multiply 21,206 by 20. Okay, now 4 is at 
ones place. Let's begin with this. Four six are twenty four. Four twos are eight. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. This becomes eight four eight two four. Eighty four thousand eight hundred and twenty four. Now taking the next digit that is twenty. Start multiplying. Put zero under ones because you are dealing with tens now. So at the ones place you are going to put zero. Two six are twelve. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Now add these in the step four. Add the two partial products. Add eight four eight two four and four two four one two zero. Four plus zero is four. Two plus two four. Eight plus one is nine. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus two is ten. Zero here. Carry forward one. Four plus one is five. This is how you are going to deal with the multiplication of two-digit numbers. This is exactly you are going to do two-digit and three-digit multiplication. You can solve exercise one G yourself. Try it doing. I'm sure you are going to do it with the three-digit numbers. First, you have to deal with the ones that is uh, the number at ones place. Then multiply with the number at tens place, and in the end, multiply with the number that is at hundreds place. It's just the same. You have done multiplication with the two-digit numbers. Now let's move on to the division. Division number up to five digit numbers by ten, hundred and thousands. Division numbers up to five digit numbers by a number up to two digit numbers. Terms associated with division. Dividend, the number to be divided is called the dividend. Divisor is the number by which we divide the dividend. Quotient is the number that we get after the division is called the quotient. The answer we get after dividing these two numbers that is called quotient. Remainder, the number which is left undivided is called the remainder. The number which is left in the end that does not divide anymore that is called remainder. In a division, we always have Dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here we shall further practice with dividend up to five digit numbers to attain mastery over this operation. Let's take an example. Yasir has rupees 87,302 with him. He wants to devise, divide this among 16 orphans. Help him to do so. Yasir has how much of money? 87,302. Now the dividend is always put inside this mark. And we had how many orphans are there? 16 orphans. That means divisor is 16. So you are going to put the numbers 87302 inside and 16 outside, divisor outside, dividend inside. Now look at the first number 8. 8 is bigger than 16 or smaller than 16? Yes, it is smaller than 16. So we cannot divide it in 16 parts. So shall we take the next number? The next number is 7. Now if we put together 8 and 7, it becomes 87. Okay. Now 87 is smaller or bigger than 16? 87 is bigger than 16. Now we can divide 87 with 16. Start counting 16 times table. 
16 fives are 80. You put 80 under 87. Now subtract 80 from 87. You are left with 7. 7 is smaller than 16. So what are we going to do next? Take the next number. Bring it down. This becomes 73. Now again start counting 16 times table. 16 fours are 64. Subtract 64 from 73 and you get 9. Now 9 is again smaller than 16. What are you, what are you going to do next? Exactly. Bring down the next number. It is 0. 9 and 0 makes 90. Start counting 16 times table. 16 fives are 80. So you subtract 80 out of 19. How much do you get here? 10. 10 is smaller than 16. What are you going to do next? Do you have any number? Yes, we have number 2 still there. Bring down number 2. It makes 102. Now start counting 16 times table. 16, 6 are 96. Subtract 96 from 102. What do you get? 6. What is 6? You don't have any more number with you. 6 is smaller than 16. So we stop here. Hence, if we divide 87,302 with 16, it gives the quotient 5,456 and the remainder is 6. Now let's check whether we have done it correctly or not. Remember that formula? Dividend is equals to quotient multiplied by divisor plus remainder. What is your quotient? Your quotient is 5456. Multiply it with divisor. What is your divisor? 16. Now if you multiply 5, 4, 5, 6 with 16, you get 8, 7, 2, 9, 6. 87,296. Now add the remainder. Once you add the remainder to it, it becomes 87,302. Now match it with your dividend. Yes, it is 87,302. That means your sum is correct. Mm -hmm.